there are so many type of regressions we have already discussed in the supervised learning slides presentation here we are considering linear regression as we know that linear regression is a statistical regression method which is used for predictive analysis it is generally used where we have some continuous values some real time values so it is the linear linear relationship between independent variables and the dependent variables that is linear regression if there is only one input variable suppose we have only one input variable then such linear regression is called simple linear regression and if we have more than one input variable then the type is known as multiple linear regression so linear regression can be classified into two types that is simple linear regression and multiple linear regression here we are taking some example that is prediction of the salary of an employee on the basis of years of experience so on the x axis we are considering experiences that is 0 year 2 year 4 year 6 year 8 year and 10 years onward and on the basis of these we are predicting or predict uh, prediction of the salary so according to the experience working year experience how much salary he or she should have that is we can calculate by the equation y equal ax plus b or y equal mx plus c so here y equal dependent variable or these are also known as target variable whereas x is independent variables also known as predictor variables a and b are nothing but that is linear coefficient so in terms of real time entities continuous entities we can predict the values by using this model that is linear regression so here the linear regression model provides a sloped straight line representing the relationship between the variables mathematically we can represent a linear regression as y equal a not x plus a1 x plus some constant so here the data points and the line of separation that is known as line of regression the values for x and y well variables are training data sets for linear regression model representation so here we have y equal that is target variables x equal predictor variables a not is nothing but that is intercept of the line it always gives an additional degree of the freedom and a1 is nothing but that is linear regression coefficient and also known as a scale factor of each input value and here some constant that is for random errors <coughs> now we talk about type of linear regression so there are two type exists if a single independent variable is used to predict the value of a numerical dependent variable then it is known as simple linear regression it means y tends to x and in second case if we have more than one independent variable which is used to predict the values of numerical dependent variable like we have single predict uh, target variable by using x1 x2 and so on so there exist two type of regression lines that is linear regression line or it can be classified as positive linear relationship and negative linear relationship a uh, linear line showing the relationship between the dependent and independent variable so if the dependent variable increases on the y axis and independent variable increases on the x axis so here both of the values are increasing according to their axes for example x axis and y axis the phenomena is known as positive linear relationship and the line is known as positive line of regression in that case we get the equation y equal a not x plus a1 x plus some constant same as in negative linear relationship if the dependent variable decreases on the y axis and the independent variable increases on the x axis the relationship is known as negative linear relationship and the line is known as negative line of regression the equation can be written as y equal minus a not plus a1 x plus some constant 
now the question arises when we separate and we when we segregate the data according to the line of separation how we can find the best fit line so our main goal is to find the best fit line that means the error between predicted values and actual values should be minimized the best fit line will have the least error so to find best fit line we check the distance from line it should be minimum means data points density must be maximum that is near the line we always check this by r square method that is distance minus mean versus distance predicted minus m r square method can be calculated by summation of y predicted minus y mean whole square upon summation of y minus y mean whole square so it can be calculated according to the mathematical or numerical values real time use that is evaluating trends and sales estimates analyzing the impact of prices changes assessment of risk in financial services and insurance domain how to calculate best fit line that is the main phenomena when we calculate linear regression or we predict the output so here we have two variables values x and y for x we have 1 2 3 4 5 and for y we have some values 3 4 2 4 5 so here by plotting this we can see on the graph we just point out all these values and here we are calculating mean for x that is 3 and mean for y equal 3.6 we can see by this table we are just mentioning all the values as we know that equation of regression line can be calculated as y equal mx plus c where we can find the value of m by using the formula summation of x minus x mean into y minus y mean upon summation of x minus x mean cover square so here in this table we are considering all the values for x y x minus x mean y minus y mean we have already calculated mean of x and mean of y so by putting all the values x minus x mean y minus y mean and again in last two columns we are calculating x minus x mean whole square x minus x mean into y minus y mean so just by putting all these values we are getting the value of m that is 0.4 and when we put this value we get the value of c that is 0 uh, point, uh, sorry 2.4 so here we have the equation y equals 0.4x plus 2.4 that is the regression line now we have find the predicted value so predicted value can be calculated by using the value of m c and for y that is for given x that is 1 2 3 4 5 we are just predicting values so here we just putting all the values and we are getting some different values that is first predicted value is 2.8 second is 3.2 third is 3.6 and last one is 4.0 4.4 so when we plot all these values according to the coordinates we find the best fit line that is the way of calculating best fit line in linear regression
So the second type of regression is logistic regression. Logistic regression is nothing but that is it is used for categorical based data. And as we know that for categorical based data, it is the part of classification. So logistic regression is one of the most popular machine learning algorithm which comes under the supervised learning. As it is used for predicting the categorical dependent variables using a given set of independent variables. Logistic regression predicts the output of the categorical dep uh, dependent variable. Therefore, the outcome must be categorical or discrete value. It can be either no, yes, zero, one, true, false, etc. But instead of giving the exact value as zero and one, it gives the probabilistic values which lie always and always between zero and one. So logistic regression is much similar to linear regression except that how they are used. Linear regression is used for solving regression problems, whereas logistic regression is used for solving the classification problems. In logistic regression, instead of fitting a regression line, we always fit an S-shaped logistic function which predicts two maximum values, 0 or 1. As I have already told you, it always lies from or between 0 and 1. The curve form from the logistic function indicates the likelihood of something such as whether the cells are sensorous or not based on its bait, etc. Logistic regression can be used to classify the observations using the different types of data and can easily determine the most effective variables used for the classification. As logistic regression uses the concept of predictive modeling as regression, therefore it is called logistic regression, but it is used to classify the samples, therefore it falls under the classification algorithm. Here we are discussing logistic function or it is known as sigmoid function. Here, as we can see, the values are lies between 0 and 1. Suppose we have value uh, for y, that is target value 0 0.3 and 0 0.8, it can be shown as always and always in logistic sigmoid function, there exists a value between 0 and 1, it can always be represented by threshold value and it is the midpoint between 0 and 1. The value of threshold is always 0 0.5. The sigmoid function is a mathematical function used to map the predicted values to probabilities. It maps only real value into another value within a range of 0 and 1. In logistic regression, we use the concept of the threshold value which defines the probability of either 0 or 1 such as values above the threshold value tends to 1 and a value below to the threshold value always tends to 0. The value of logistic regression must be between 0 and 1 which cannot go beyond this limit. So it forms a curve like the S form. The S form curve is called the sigmoid function or the logistic function. Here we are driving the equation of logistic regression. As we know the, that the equation of a straight line can be written as y equal mx plus c or y equal v0 plus v1 x1 plus v2 x2 plus up to vn of xn. In logistic regression y can be between 0 and 1 only as we know that always and always lies between 0 and 1. So for this, we are dividing this equation by 1 minus y. By dividing 1 minus y, we are getting the values of y upon 1 minus y equals 0 for y equals 0 and infinity for y equal 1. So here we are getting the range from 0 to infinite. But as we know that our range must be minus infinite to infinite. So we are taking log of the equation. So finally, we are having the equation log of y upon y minus 1 equal v0 plus v1 x1 plus up to vn xn. That is the final equation for the logistic regression. Here we have the type of logistic regressions. There are three types of logistic regressions. Number one, binomial logistic regression. Second, multinomial logistic regression. And the last one is ordinary 
logistic regression. So binomial logistic regression always suggests there can be only two possible types of dependent variables such as 0 or 1, pass or fail. But we have three or more possible unordered type of dependent variables such as cat, dogs or sheep. In that case, we use multinomial logistic regression. And the last one is if we have uh, there can be three or more possible ordered types of dependent variables such as low, medium, high or just opposite high, medium, low, then we apply for ordinal logistic regression. So these all are the type of logistic regressions. Here we are considering some difference that is between linear regression and logistic regression. As we know linear regression is always used for continuous values whereas logistic regression applied for categorical variables. Logistic, uh, sorry, linear regression always solve regression problems whereas logistic regression applies for classification problems. In case of linear regression we get straight line curve but in case of logistic regression we have sigmoid curve or S curve. Real time examples can be considered as weather predictions, classification problems, illness, determinations, etc. Now, we are taking some problems that is real time problems. Suppose when we choose data set of Titanic and explore about the people, these who survived and those who did not survive with today's technology. Now, we have the data. According to these data set, we apply type of regressions. And the second problem is a car company has released a new SUV in the market. Using the previous data about the sales of their SUVs, they want to predict the category of the people who might be interested in buying this or not. So according to the history and the data set, we define all the fields like user ID, gender, age, estimated salary, previous history of purchasing any car or not, whether he or she is interested or not. So these all are the conditions where a car company can survey and predict the output. So these were, there was two types of
problems that is regression problem and classification problem that was the introduction part regarding linear regression logistic regression and 